All right, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening, almost. It's already after Plaga Mincha. Let's learn the Nayam Lamalach, Parshas Bahar, by Daber, Hashem Omeisha, Har Sinai Lamor. The Lord spoke to Moses at Mount Sinai, saying, Zog the Heilige Rebbe Melo, Zchusil Usmein. Near the far shall Pisha Amr Perkyavus. It seems we can explain this in accordance with that which is taught in the Ethics of the Fathers, the Patriarchal Chapters. Moshe Kibel Torah Messinai was the ruler of Yeshua, of Yeshua's kingdom's kingdom of Neviim. Excuse me, a little out of it. Moses received the Torah at Sinai, and he passed it to Joshua. Joshua passed it to the elders, and the elders passed it to, to the prophets. When the Vimas Ruha, Lanchik Nesagadola, and the prophets passed it to the people of the great synagogue. Eishladaktek. So we, there's a way we should exp- look at this carefully. Shemitchilak Sivimas Ruha Lihoshua. So it says, and Moses passed it on to Joshua. But from Joshua to the elders, it doesn't say that Joshua passed it to the elders. It just says, and Joshua to the elders. And also, it doesn't say that the word, and, and the, the Elders passed it to the prophets. It doesn't say, it just says elders to the prophets. How do Nemer Masru Lanchik this is a Gedola? But the term Masruha, it was passed on, the tradition was passed on, is mentioned again by the men of the great synagogue, the great assembly, Lanchik this is Gedola. People of the great assembly, because because there were women on Anshe Knesset Gadol also. You don't have to say Anshe or Nashe. Anshe is inclusive. Mestam la Eiza Kavana Kasu Chachme Mishnah Kach Bashine Lashem. It seems what is the intention here when the sages of the Mishnah wrote like this? With this change of terminology, also it doesn't say, and it was passed to Moses. Rather, Moses received. So it seems we can explain like this. I'll pee a Gemara, but in accordance with the following Talmudic dictum. There's a traditional homiletical teaching that when it says why are the mountains trembling, it says in the Psalms. So the sages teach a homily on that, that all the mountains came before God asking that the Torah should be given on them. Amalahem Hashem Yisbarach Baruch Hu Kul Chem Balei Mumen Atem Etzel Har Sinai So God said you are all uh, blemished when you compare it to Mount Sinai. Lashen Gibbon or Dak because when it says Gabnunim, it's, it's similar to various forms of blemishes and deformities. So they're mentioned that would disqualify a priest. So what is the what makes Mount Sinai special? It's a low hill. It's lower than all these other hills. It's a teach a lesson that the 
Torah can only really be sustainable by someone who is humble, who humbles himself. Moses was exceedingly humble, more than any other human being in history. You know the story that my Rebbe, the Kalv Rebbe of Shlita, which Shleim always likes to tell, that by the Ramban, by Nachmanides, there was a, a, a priest, a Catholic priest, who, um, you know, he, he played a game like he was very humble, right? And, and Nachmanides said to him, you know, so, so the, the priest asked him, what do you think of my humility? And the, 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 the Nachmanides, Chusigaleinu, the Ramban, the Heilig Ramban, the Ramban of Kodesh, he said, he said, uh, I, I have a big kasha, because I have a big question, it's very difficult to understand. You seem to even be more humble than Moses, and the Bible says Moses is the most humble person ever lived. The priest said, yeah, I had the same question. <laughs> anyway, because of the humility of Moses, he was able to receive the Torah directly from God. This term of Mesira, when we talk of Mesora, of, of the apostolic succession that we have in Judaism in a certain sense, different. But it's, it's our tradition that's passed on from Ishmi P. Ish from Moses. Joshua didn't have all of the power to receive from Moses. So Moses had to give that over with his self sacrifice. And he gave over that energy, and that's how Joshua was able to receive it. So Moses was able to pass the Torah to Joshua with his tremendous sanctity, his tremendous holiness, and his self-sacrifice. When Joshua passed it to the elders, he wasn't able to make that same Messir Snefesh that same self-sacrifice to give over the whole Torah like Moses taught. That's why it doesn't say that Joshua passed it to the elders. It just says Joshua to the elders. Rather, he taught the Torah to them according to the energy that they have to receive. Dor achar dor tashu koichem lo'inamur so as one generation to another passed on, they had less energy than the previous generations, and so it doesn't say that it was passed on. The Hadar But when it went from the prophets to the great synagogue, the then you do have the term of Masira of passing it over. Because that's the natural order, the natural path. That when something leaves its na natural form, in the end that thing is lifted up very high. It's like a wheel, and when it the wheel turns around, you know, the same point of the wheel will go down, and once it reaches the lowest point, it goes, it starts to go up. So the prophets, they came full circle. 
and they were able to have that same typology of self-sacrifice of Moses. There's a Mela to Moshe, the Hashem is Baruch Baruch Hu and Shaykh, the Mela, Lush and Monsieur Klal. But from when Moses got it from God, there is no idea of passing it over because Kela Kabola, Asher Kibble, may be a Gvura. All there is 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 reception that he received from God. Because Moses was so exceedingly humble. That's what it means. Moses received the Torah from Sinai. That's what the idea is taught from Mount Sinai that God gave the Torah upon it because it was lower than all the other hills and mountains. That's what it says here. And Moses spoke, and God and the Lord spoke to Moses at Mount Sinai, saying, Meaning God is saying, Moses, you have to be like Mount Sinai. Be humble. If you are like Mount Sinai, then your sanctity will be increased, so you'll be able to give the Torah to the Jewish people, to the Klal Yisrael, to Israelites, with your tremendous holiness because of your humility, the Kalahoban. It's easy to understand. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in Ritzhashem later. How do I turn this thing off, this one?